Thanks. Talk to me about some of like the most frustrating times that you had when you was doing content and like I don't know you might have lost some fucking files or like what's, what was the most frustrating time that you that you had during this content time of yours? Um, actually, the most frustrating thing is putting all your hard work into a video, sending it to a brand, and they don't approve it. If you have a sponsorship, okay, I'm putting, about to say, I could, I can't relate. Putting all your hard work into like a video. Oh my God, it took me a full day to edit this video. It took me a full day to film this video. You send it to the brand that sponsored the video and they don't like the video. Wow. You have to do it all over again. Damn, that's annoying. Yo, tell me about, so I'm an influencer now. Okay. You feel me? I had my first little, I ain't get paid yet, but I was like, okay. I'm about to go here. No, some 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 brands, most brands pay me. Net 30, right? That's what they call it? I don't I do not do net 30. You okay. have It has to be net 14. Okay. I don't, I don't, and you can ask that. Okay. Oh. I would never take net 30. See, I don't I'm know. I'm not uploading this video or uploading this content and you're not paying me till a month later. Mm. But I understand <laughs> that some brands, they they work with so many influencers. There's a process for paying you, but there's no reason why it should take you 30 days to pay me. Right. I'll give you 14 days. And I really want you to pay me before 14 days. I want to get paid the day I upload. <laughs> most, most brands do, most brands pay me. So what will happen is they'll pay me half up front. <sighs> And then I'll do the content, send it to them for approval. And when they approve it, either they'll pay me after they approve it and I'll give them a date that it goes up or they'll pay me the other half when the video goes up. Damn. But some some brands actually like the more popular, the more popular the brand is, the longer they take to pay because they have so much going on in their finance department. Have you ever like have you ever got net 30 or like never? No. So you all you already knew to say to make to, to say yeah, gives you when a demand. I signed the contract. I was like. Why does this say net 30? And they were like, that's just our process. That was the first company that I ever saw that said net 30. I was like, why does it say that? And they was like, that's just our way of paying. Like, that's our that's our system. And I was like, I'm not doing content. And you pay me 30 days later. So they, they was like, well, we can change it to net 14. And I was like, okay, perfect. And then after I saw that that brand was like, I can change it to net 14. That. Everybody that sends me a contract that says net 30, I say, no, net 14. Mm. But what about, talk, but again, we got to have this conversation because, like, we can't, a lot of times I feel like people um, downplay their celebrity. And I don't want to get into that situation. And what, I, what I mean by that is I, we got to recognize that you are somebody. Like, you are Ayana and you are I'm somebody. Not a celebrity, but, but My dad is a celebrity. Right, but we, I just want to recognize, but even still you got the numbers, right? To somebody that's just starting, like mm -hmm. for me, right? Like, that's my first time ever getting offered a, uh, uh, um. Are you excited? Yeah, I was excited for I, my I first was excited. Brand deal. I was like, very like yo, take a picture and post it and talk about the app. Was that cracking app? Like, talk about crypto and stuff. Like, okay. I, <laughs> like, was, I was very excited about my first brand deal. So, but to people that, that might not have as many numbers as to you or whatever, like, do if, if they can't do net 14, do you say, say no or you say get it? No, I wouldn't say say no. The reason why I don't take net 14 is because I have so many brands mm. offering me. You can do that. I, yeah, I, I can say, all right, well, if you don't like my terms, then I just don't want to work with you. Mm. Um, but if this is your first sponsorship and the brand is really pushing for net 30, absolutely. But I would say make them choose. You're not doing net 30 and getting a discounted rate because they always want a discounted rate. Mm. You can choose one or the other. I'm not giving you this discounted rate when I actually charge this amount. And then you also are waiting 30 days to pay me a discounted rate. So brands be asking for discounts? Yeah, they'll ask you for like your media kit and how much you charge for like each, uh, for like, they have different things. Each brand wants something different. Some people may be like, I want 60 seconds in your video. Mm -hmm. Some people are like, I want a dedicated video, which I don't do anymore anyway. So I always say no to that. Um, or they'll say, oh, I just want, 90 seconds to two minutes in a vlog or something. So they ask you to send over like your rate list and then they'll be like, oh, okay, this was a little bit out of our range. Can we do this instead? Um, and it's up to the person whether they want to negotiate or not. I don't mind negotiating my rate, but you're not getting the full time. Mm. So you're not going to ask me to do a full, a two minute sponsorship, but you want to pay for, for you want to pay less than what I charge for a two minute sponsorship. If this is if this is what you can pay, that's fine. But now you're only getting sixty seconds. Mm. Like I'm not gonna talk about your brand for two minutes when you're not paying the two minute rate. That makes sense. So how do you? First of all, a dedicated video. That's, I'm assuming that's a video specifically for mm -hmm. this brand. Yes, is all about this brand. Yeah. Okay. Um, at what point in time did you say I'm I'm not doing this no more? Um, 
fairly recently, actually. Um, I just don't think that it's authentic. Mm. Um, there's no brand that I want to rave about for 15 minutes in a YouTube video. 15 minutes? That's a long time. I mean, like, the brands have, when they do dedicate, yeah, they have stipulations. When they're paying you that much money, they want, like, uh, at least at least an eight minute video. Damn. There's no brand that I want to sit there and talk about for eight minutes. So it becomes after the first two minutes of the video to me, it become it's not authentic anymore. Mm. Like now I'm literally just reading everything that you want me to say, and it sounds like a script to me. So I don't offer dedicated videos. Yo, we anymore. was just talking about a brand in here that I might can get. A, I, I think I could do eight minutes about that. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, we talking about. You ever heard of a? Uh, you ever heard of Honey? Honey. Mm-hmm. The the app with the coupons. No, okay, never mind. It's like a, it's like a, no, it's like, everybody no, it's like, like no. a sex. Everybody's like, hell no, nah, that ain't what we talking about. It's okay. like a sex uh, stimulant, I guess, like an organic sex stimulant. You ever heard of it? No. You and your girlfriend should try it. We don't need it. Y'all should try it. I'm trying to tell you. What is it? It's an organic, like, you ever heard of, like, the gas station pills? Like, Rhino and shit like that? You never, you heard of it, no? No. Is that for men? Yeah, right. So they got, but they got something called like Pink Panther for for ladies. Mm-mm. So, listen, listen, listen. She like this is what left. <laughs> I've now, never heard of this yo, in the it. gas station. So, people they know like Ryan know and shit like that. But what I would say is it's something called Honey, and I was just telling them about it, and I was we be talking for you like used twenty it? minutes. I could you used it? I used it one time. You liked it? Oh my god. But what is it? Is it lube? Is it like, what nah, is it's it? It's like honey. It's literally. Oh, you just eat it. Yo, it's crazy. It's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Okay. Yo, see, I would never thought of using that word, an aphrodisiac. Like, <laughs> okay, but. It makes you horny. Yeah. Shit, crazy. Okay. You and Amy should do it. No. Yo. We, no, never mind. Yo, I'm trying to tell you. I don't, so, um, I can't speak for all lesbians. But we are already rabbits. I don't think that I should take anything else to stimulate me any further than I'm already can stimulated. See, can we take a shot to that? Yo, I can see that, though. I feel like girls, I hate it, bro. Like, y'all, it's, it's, we're going to get back to the content. But I just feel like it's a cheat code. Like, I don't like gay girls, bro. Like, because you can just go for however long yeah, you want. Yeah, we can. Like, you can just, like, me, I got I got a limit to my shit. Like, no. you know what I mean? like <laughs> girls, they can just do what the fuck they want. That's, I hate it. So I switched over. I ain't got time for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nobody feel like waiting on y'all. That's crazy, bro. But let me get another cup. Um, back to the, uh, let me get another cup. I'm going to take a shot for that. Back to the, um, the mm-hmm. content. Yo, how, how do you, um, how do you. Glad that time was nasty. How do you get, um, how do you find these brands where they just find you? Um, I actually don't think that I have ever reached out to a brand. Bro, this ain't fair, bro. No, I'm finna. I'm about to tell you what I do. Do that. I've never reached out to a brand for a sponsorship. I have reached out to a brand for product. Mm. Um, it's a lot of skincare brands that I like that are actually very expensive. I'm talking like probably three hundred dollars for moisturizer type shit. And I'll ask Sound like them. It's good, Real good. I would hope it's, so, yeah, it's real good, and I pay, and I I buy it, but I'm just like, I have an audience. Let me, shoot my Let me shot. ask them if I can. No, for real, I do all the time, and I mean the worst they can say is no. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. Most of the time they say yeah, and they'll just send me the products. Um. They'll send me more than what I asked for, which is good for me because I also can do like a giveaway mm. for my followers who you know probably couldn't get a three hundred dollar bottle of cream so i'll send it um out to them i send my followers stuff all the time actually um but i have reached out to brands and i'll just write them and say my name's ayana i have a youtube channel where i do beauty makeup lifestyle travel blah blah blah. i wear your stuff all the time i would love for you to send me some stuff and i would feature it in one of my videos Mm. i usually don't do promo in exchange for products at all but if i'm reaching out to you because because i really want your stuff um so i've never reached out to anybody for a sponsorship but i have reached out to someone for um for a free product there is a brand that i low-key do want to reach out to for a sponsorship because i talk about them all the time i know for a fact that my subscribers go there because of me um, so I am thinking about reaching out to them. So would you find that email? Because maybe I should reach out to Honey because, like... Usually they have like, it... Shit, I've been saying that name and shit. So usually they'll either have it, like, in their... Like, on their Instagram, you can hit email. But a lot of times that's the customer service email. So what I'll do is I'll either email customer service and ask them who does their PR, if they have mm. the email for the PR, or I'll DM them and say, I'm 
I want to, I'm looking to get a sponsorship. Who do I address? And Damn. then they'll like send you the name of the email. That's usually, even when I DM, usually people that run the social media aren't the same people who's running like PR. So they'll send me the email to the um, other people. And I'll just copy and paste it and send it to them. How did you, I think we talked about this outside a little bit. Um, how was you able to like measure your, um, your numbers? Like what you charge versus how many followers you got, et cetera, et cetera. I started doing just doing a lot of research. Okay. Um, I literally just started doing a lot of research. Start and started watching a lot of YouTube videos of people saying like what they charge. I saw like I was on like this blog this blog one time that talks about YouTubers, and they were like showing people's rate sheet. So I was like comparing like mm. my follower count to like them, and then also besides that. Somebody having more followers than you, you sometimes you could charge more than them if your engagement rate is higher. Mm. Um, I have a very high engagement rate on YouTube. I get more views than a lot of people who have. I only have fifty two thousand subscribers, but I get a lot of views, and my views sometimes match up with people who have two hundred thousand subscribers. Too. So yeah, so if somebody is like, "Well, <laughs> this is how many followers you have, but you charging this much," I can be like, "But my engagement rate is through the roof." So 